world of math expresses our complex modern society in numbers and creates new things. There is a new study material that makes the principles of math fun and easy. It is Anopi Math. Anopi Math is the world's only structured study material that reflects a global math curriculum. Right now you can find Anopi Math in the US, Canada, Hong Kong, New Zealand, Australia, the Philippines, Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia and Hawaii. And it is also expanding to China and Japan. Inopi Math subdivides the preschool to middle school curriculum into 32 levels. It is a structured study material that students can use to study according to their abilities. Inopi aims to perfection of mathematical thinking ability through simultaneous study of basic thinking math and critical thinking math. Inopi Math Level 1 to 23 is for the preschool and elementary students and is comprised of 30 sets. In Basic Thinking Math Level 1 to 18, basic calculating abilities are completed. Critical Thinking Math Level 19 to 30 nurtures various thoughts and improves problem solving abilities. One set, which has 16 pages, is composed of set concepts. Review. Intensive study, fun puzzle one, or a concept story, a concept comic. Intensive study, fun puzzle two, fun activity or teaching tools, and summary or overview. Inopi Math Levels 24 to 32 is for middle school students and has nine levels. Each level is composed of 24 sets. Sets 1 through 16 of each level are basic thinking math areas. They improve the student's skills through basic drilling of the school text. Sets 17 through 24 of each level are the critical thinking math area. Skills to solve problems related to daily life are nurtured. One set is composed of 20 pages and includes the set concepts, warm-up or material, intensive study. Intensive study, teaching tools in odd number sets and concept comics and even number sets. Intensive study and finally, the summary. In levels 1 and 2, the concept of numbers and quantity is learned with numbers up to 30. In levels 3 and 4, mental arithmetic is learned by adding and subtracting numbers from 1 to 3. In levels 5 through 9, mental addition and subtraction are completed. In levels 10 and 11, calculation with figures is completed for addition and subtraction. In levels 12 through 16, multiplication and division are completed and the four operations of natural numbers are taught. The student completes the four arithmetical operations of natural numbers. In levels 17 through 21, the four operations of fractions are learned, and in levels 21 through 23, the four operations of fractions are studied, and equations and word problems are also studied. By doing so, the calculation of fractions is completed. In levels 24 through 32, positive numbers and negative numbers are calculated. Simple equations and quadric equations are solved, and functions and statistics are learned. Through all this, the four operations of real numbers are completely learned. The critical thinking math area of preschool and elementary curriculum is divided into five areas. First, patterns and relationships. The basic functions are learned through the rules of objects, numbers, calculations, and shapes. Second, depth perception. Depth perception uses teaching tools to nurture an intuitive thinking mind about space. 
Third, measurement. Measurement compares different quantities. Length, width, and volume are understood, and quantity can be measured. Fourth, problem solving. Problem solving provides eight strategies to solve problems, including finding rules, making tables, and trying different things. Confidence in problem solving is nurtured. Fifth, reasoning. Reasoning nurtures an analytical mind through grouping and inference for a more rational mathematical thinking mind. The middle school process of critical thinking math is divided into four areas. In problem solving one, problem solving skills are taught through traditional math puzzles and quizzes, and an interest in math is maintained. Problem solving two, problem solving skills are taught through problems in daily life, and the flexibility and utilization of math are taught. In problem solving three, problem solving skills are taught through statistical problems, and the value and practicality of math are taught. In depth perception, Teaching tools are used to teach intuitive insight and imagination regarding space. A sense of space is also taught by using common materials in daily life. 